main expectations, the first and the foremost which the corporate world has been raising is unification of corporate tax system. In fact, uh, many voices, in fact, on CNN News 18 has also lamented on this very fact that this unification is very important for the growth story of corporates, which will actually fuel the growth story of India. Apart from that, the corporate world has also talking about uh, the support to the MSME sector because we've seen due to the external reasons and in fact with the COVID and the war going on across um, between Russia and Ukraine, there was a uh, there was a uh, the, uh, the supply chain was hit and in fact to actually re-establish that supply chain the MSMEs could play a very vital role in this entire scenario apart from that the uh, the major focus of this government in previous year remains uh, on the expenditure on the uh, 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 the public expenditure so the corporates also want the expenditure by the government to, the capex expenditure to increase so that the demands uh, could be uh, in fact increased amongst the general public and in fact uh, uh, the focus is also on to uh, uh, to let people have more disposable income so that they can uh, uh, step out and spend more and then in terms it could actually uh, pass the growth of these corporates. Sure. So these are some of the key expectations from the corporate world and this time around they are also very optimistic about this entire story of India's growth story because we have seen uh, across the world in fact numbers coming out by the uh, IMF where India is well True. positioned uh, across the world when it comes to the growth rate. So the corporates are also very optimistic about this entire story and they would want the government to actually work on the very direction they were working earlier also so there are two scenarios which are playing out uh, the corporates are expecting sure. to uh, expecting from the government to build on to and to uh, actually consolidate the past uh, promises which been made uh, in the budget yeah yeah before i bring in our other colleagues also we're already starting to get some political reactions let's first listen into those पूरे देश में विश्व में वैश्विक मंदी आई लेकिन भारत ने एक जो भारत की आर्थिक स्थिति है उसको अगर देखें तो सुधरना अभी तक बनी हुई है तो क्या इसका भी ये कहीं ना कहीं हमारे प्रधानमंत्री जी के नेतृत्व और हमारे वित्त मंत्री जी के देख रेख में जो हम लोगों ने देश के साथ काम किया है उसका परिणाम है कि इकोनॉमिक सर्वे भी आप देखें तो कहीं ना कहीं भारत की अर्थव्यवस्था अपने पट्टी पर है धन्यवाद Some political reactions there coming in. Let me continue the conversation with our colleagues. Uh, Arunima, let me bring you also in the conversation. Uh, talk to us about how the day is going to pan out for the finance minister. What time are we expecting her to present the budget? More importantly, any inside scoop that you're picking up for our viewers here at CNN News 18 or what we can expect? Oh, well, both the finance minister and the uh, minister of states uh, in the ministry as well as the entire team uh, I think I'm just about getting ready to reach uh, North Block there. Uh, there are There is uh, some photo opportunity expected at the residence of MOS Finance. Uh, there is a puja expected this morning. Um, uh, the finance minister with her bahi khata, uh, we have been telling the, our viewers and they have noticed over the years as well uh, that the briefcase, the famed briefcase of uh, uh, the, the finance ministers of earlier years were replaced by that red bahi khata with the national emblem. Uh, so Nirmala Sitaraman is expected uh, to do that photo op at uh, North Block with her team with the MOS finance, uh, with the officials, including uh, secretaries in the, the Ministry of Finance, um, and post that, she will uh, reach the budget and, and uh, uh, you know, try to take into confidence uh, the elected representatives say, in Lok Sabha, uh, Rajya Sabha, subsequently the budget papers uh, will be laid there. Uh, now, just, I just want to take forward from the conversation that we were having with our colleagues Akshara and Yash about expectations. Uh, the armed janta expectation in every budget, especially the middle class, the taxpayer is, are you going to change our income tax slabs? Are you going to give us any relief as far as in income tax exemptions are concerned? So that's expectation number one. Expectation number two, that the corporates have, the, the market, you know, hasn't done well the last uh, couple of days. Uh, it, it has lost tremendously. It's being seen as an impact of, of the Hindenburg report. Uh, so they are nervous. They are, they are watching closely as to how is the market going to react uh, once uh, the budget papers are, are made public. And third and most uh, importantly for Nirmala Sitaraman, the opposition's expectations, uh, the way they have attacked the economic survey and the president's speech, mainly on three points. One, job creation. In unemployment, they say, is, is, is the elephant in the room and the government is doing nothing to address it. Two, inflation. Even though economic survey says that inflation rates are now manageable within the rates that RBI had predicted, True. opposition is not happy. And third, the rupee, which continues its downward slide, how is that impacting our economy? So is there anything in there on these three counts is something that the opposition would be watching out for. 
Absolutely. Arun Ma, we'll request you to stay on with us. Let's also bring in Meer in the conversation who's been patiently waiting. Meer, good morning. What's the mood as far as Mumbai is concerned? What are the kind of voices that you're hearing and expectations also? Absolutely. Uh, since I'm outside BSC, uh, of course, uh, I did speak to some of the experts and uh, they are of the mind that even though, uh, you know, Sensex was down by 203 points in early trade, by the end of it, uh, what they have uh, concluded or what they are speculating at this point is that industries or sectors such like energy, auto, as well as banking will benefit from this budget is what the early indicators are. Of course, we'll have to wait and watch. But as far as the common man is concerned, uh, the common man uh, and the middle class uh, taxpayer specific, uh, specifically, they are eyeing uh, and hoping a lot from this budget. Remember, uh, they uh, have got no kind of great news in the last budget, but this time they expect that there has to be some sort of tax benefits, some uh, uh, additional uh, benefits or relief uh, to the common man, the middle class especially, uh, that will uh, help them save more, spend more and make life easy. Remember, uh, they are being battered uh, by inflation in several areas, be it uh, rise in fuel prices, uh, rise in um, basic commodities uh, and, uh, uh, you know, lack of jobs, uh, 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 no higher income. So, so they want some sort of, uh, uh, you know, focus this time in the budget and that is what the general sentiment in uh, Mumbai also is when you speak to the common man. As far as experts are concerned, uh, they I believe that there are certain sectors which will really benefit from this budget but we'll have to wait and watch at this point what uh, what i can say is that uh, uh, you know there are no signs that this budget will disappoint people uh, and especially the markets uh, uh, considering there are some amount of uh, feelers given that there will be uh, something done for the common man uh, which is a section and segment which has really been uh, facing a lot of uh, beating beat from uh, inflation or other areas so so all hopes uh, on the budget at this point uh, and the common man is uh, uh, waiting with bated breath to see some sort of relief in form of tax and also there is uh, when you speak to experts they uh, they are clearly indicating that we know there are two regimes when it comes to tax filing will the government will make it into one uh, so that uh, the process and the confusion around it is completely uh, eradicated or completely yeah. done with now that more is importantly also one will we see that, actually uh, more people uh, wanting to go forward with that new tax regime that's also something that we'll have to wait and watch i'll request all our colleagues to stay on with us we'll continue to go back to you to try and understand the mood on the ground 